The promoter is the first region of a transcription unit in gene expression. It has three main functions. First, it indicates the direction of transcription. It also indicates which of the two DNA strands is the template strand that codes for the RNA. Lastly, the promoter serves as the initiator of transcription. There are three different types of RNA polymerase, the enzyme that transcribes the DNA strand into RNA. The three different types of RNA polymerase are 1, 2, and 3. Each requires a different promoter as well as different accessory proteins that are unique to the type of RNA polymerase. We will focus on RNA polymerase 2 as it is the more complex of the three types. RNA polymerase 2 is involved in the transcription of protein coding free mRNAs. This is the basic structure of a promoter. The core promoter is immediately upstream of the RNA coding region of the gene. Several proteins, called general transcription factors, form the basal transcription apparatus, which functions in initiating transcription. This binds to the start codon, which is downstream of the core promoter. Upstream of the core promoter is the regulatory promoter region. Proteins called transcriptional activation proteins bind to various consensus sequences on the regulatory promoter. These proteins stimulate the assembly of the basal transcription apparatus, effectively regulating the speed of transcription. So promoters work like this. RNA polymerase 2 binds to a sequence called the transcription initiation site, which is just upstream of the tata box in the core promoter. This creates a 5' untranslated region. It then knows where the start of transcription will begin, so it slides down to the start codon. An enhancer is a DNA sequence that increases the expression of distant genes on the same DNA molecule. It is position independent, which means it can be upstream or downstream of the target genes. Regulatory proteins called activators bind to the enhancer. In this example, the enhancer is upstream of the core promoter. The basal transcription machinery and RNA polymerase bind to the core promoter. The DNA between an enhancer and the promoter loops out so the activator proteins bound to the enhancer can directly interact with the basal transcription machinery and the RNA polymerase at the core promoter. This increases the rate of mRNA transcription. A silencer is a sequence on the DNA usually located upstream of the promoter. It allows a repressor to bind to the DNA strand. This represses promoter activity, and in turn, transcription factors are enabled to produce gene expression downstream. There are many different types of silencers, and each affect different aspects of gene regulation, from within structure, intron splicing, untranslated signal recognition, and many more. One of the main types of silencers is called a classical silencer. A classical silencer represses gene production by messing with the structure of transcriptional factors. It could cause the DNA to make a loop and bring the silencer closer to the prom promoter site. It can also bind to AT rich sequences with strong nucleotide unpairing properties, blocking helicase from unwinding the DNA. A second type of silencer is called a position-dependent silencer. It inhibits gene expression by bending the shape of the DNA in the promoter region. This bend keeps activators from binding to the DNA, and in turn, the DNA is not transcribed. Promoter! Enhancer! Silencers! are all in gene expression together!